And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube. For our first deck of the day, we got Kinku Elusives, which I think is probably the best deck in Legends of Runeterra. Um, we have four decks that I think are, are all very good that we're going to be playing today on our Rank Up Sunday stream. Um, four of the best decks in uh, Legends of Runeterra. So if you're a fan of Tier 1 decks, hopefully you're going to be a fan of today's stream. Um, you know, we're going to be playing these over in Diamond to see how far we rank up with each one. Um, we're going to be playing, I think I'm going to change, we're going to play 10 matches of each one. So we were doing seven and uh, a couple of days ago, and then I decided that one of the videos a little bit longer, so we went to nine. And so, you know, we played nine yesterday, and that worked out fine. But then, you know, kind of think about more. I know not, nine's an odd number, which I like odd numbers. Uh, to play because you know so you can finish either five and four or four and five you know you don't you don't finish 500 but then thinking about it i was like well we should probably just play 10 because 10 <clears throat> you know if we win seven out of the 10 it's 70 percent win rate we win six out of the 10 60 percent and, and so on nice and easy number wise but yeah basically this deck is very good you know like we're we're using the elusive um mechanic you know which is just like flying in magic you know like, so we're basically playing a whole bunch of elusive creatures trying to uh, get creatures that are really difficult to block and then of course we pump them up um as well we use like omen hawk to grant our top two allies in our deck plus one plus one <clears throat> we have jewel protector which i've been really impressed with jewel protector in this deck getting some ally in hand plus three plus three you know like that can make a flyer huge you know you can take a uh, card that was like a 3-2 flyer and turned it into a 6-5 flyer. And that's pretty insane. And then uh, the Windfarer Hatchling giving all your other allies plus 2, plus 2. The thing that's special about this deck are the Kinku cards, especially the new one, Kinku Wayfinder. It's a 4-mana 2-3 whenever you play it, if your top card's an Ionia card, which hopefully it will be. Almost all the cards in the deck are Ionia. Then you summon two one-cost allies from the deck. So you get either two... Um, these like two one elusives for the first turn or two omen hawks or you know any combination it's very uh very powerful so let's let's uh go ahead and play play some matches let's see how we do with kinku elusives i'm now all the way down here in the bottom right hand corner and made the webcam a little bigger but you know like this is basically where all the other um, people playing Legend of Ruterra, where everybody else has their camera too, because <clears throat> there's like a nice blocked off area that has nothing here that's perfect for a webcam. So, those of y'all watching on YouTube, let me know what you think of the change of me being a down here. So we don't ha we don't have the attack token turn one. Opponent has it, so we'll play uh, Omen Hawk. Instead of the Blade Scout. Hey, look at that. We got a 3-4 Wayfinder now. Alright, I'm just going to pick up the Omen Hawk. I know I could I could attack with the Omen Hawk for one and then pick it up. Um, and this is likely going to die to a Mystic Shot. But I don't want to do that. They Mystic Shot my one drop. And then, I, then I'm not able to play the Conspirator after that. All right, so we have without a sound. Good old four three Zed doesn't die to Mystic shots, but you know can get get excited. Ed. Winter take you. No magic. I I answered your question just a little bit ago. Hey Wordle. So the tricky part about this game is, you know, like we have priority. We can like there's no specific combat step. We we can go straight to combat if we want, or we can play like the Wayfinder. They can bring some more creatures around. But then that, uh, but then if I do that, if I do this, now they get a priority, so then they can play like a creature and stuff before combat. Shh. There it is. 
But it looks like that was still worth it. So they have three mana. If I attack with Zed and they frost, they can block with the three one frostbite Zed, and kill Zed. Am I willing to make that trade when I have twin disciplines in hand? My answer is yes. I have a lot of uh, mana intensive stuff, and yeah, it looks like they have that. Thought it was pretty likely they had that. Yep, focusing on Legends of Runeterra. Elnux. Elnux are pretty sweet. All right, so we're going to... Let's see. I definitely want to play the Jeweled Protector. But I don't know what I want to give plus one... Or the plus three, plus three to. I think I actually want to do to the Conspirator. Oh yeah, yeah, I yeah, I didn't stream for like 10 days there cuz I was moving. Uh let's see. So leading with the Green Glade duo first, because whenever we play Looking for a, daring a creature, it gets plus one, plus one, or plus one, plus zero. They're likely going to have, there's six mana Frostbite Tooth flyers, or like two things. They're probably going to do that on my flyers. So that's pretty likely. Oh no. Well, that's not good. So we're at uh, six mana right now. Yeah. So next turn we'll have seven. The turn after that we'll have eight. We can go like Blade Scout plus Hatchling. And attack for eight. Me down to nine. Silent as So unfortunately, I'm going to be one mana short from being able to play all three of these cards, which is what I want to do. I want to play Blade Scout, then Hatchling, and, and also have Twin Disciplines available. Hang on, sir. Hey, what's up, Sam? Yeah, I'm going to play some Tier 1 decks today, Rank Up Sunday. Yeah, I really wish I had one more... Never see me coming. One more mana. 
could have saved that 4-3 right then. So they got 11 mana, so assuming they have the six... So assuming they have harsh winds, which is something they're basically going to need... Gonna say they need they need something else, but they did have you know, like the Mystic Shot also. But would have had one extra mana. Would have definitely had this. But we're still looking pretty good. They still have to figure out how to deal with these two elusive creatures. pretty good for a little bit <laughs> I don't know they have to cast so Ezreal every time they cast a spell does two damage to us so they cast seven spells we're dead we know about one one mana spell in hand it's very easy to cast there's another one mana spell oh, that, that even caused zero mana <laughs> yeah Ezreal next is next. Yeah, the the deck that our opponents playing is we are playing it next. Ugh. Usually wouldn't be playing a spell pre combat, but that's a that's really a good one. Ezreal sounds like a really talented kid kid that never learned to be humble. Ezreal. <laughs> that's true. Do you know do you know uh Ezreal at all from like Legends of or League of Legends lore? Well, hopefully we can win this with the double twin disciplines. You're between me and glory. Wow. Harsh wins those two. Okay, because they have frostbite for that. And that's burst speed, I can't respond. We'll give plus three plus zero twice to this. <laughs> so Shadow Assassin's supposed to be a two two. Omen Hawk gave it plus two plus two. Hatchling another plus two plus two. And then Frostbite to give minus six minus zero. Now Discipline of Force plus six plus zero. Hey Storm, good evening. Oh, that puts us down to one. We got there, we beat Ezreal. Wow, that was close. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, that, that present was amazing. Thank you, yeah, I'm gonna be having it hung up. I guess it'll basically be right behind my head. It's gonna be on that wall right there. So I guess how I'm sitting will be right behind my head. I guess I could ha I could have it on I could have it right there. I'll maybe show up a little better. Yeah, I'll put it up right there. Got it right here. Of course. I can put it up right back there. Hawkeye. 
with the ties on the staff. I know, right? It's perfect. No, yeah, thank you so much. Storm and, of course, everybody else. How's your weekend been, Storm? Having a Sunday fun day? Oh, the horror! For a daring uh, tire a tiring weekend. Speaking. You're actually looking forward to work tomorrow. Wow. That can happen to you, though. Yeah, when you got all those errands and everything. That can happen. The order rewards its faithful. We're going to be able to play a pretty long game with a double wayfinder, double jeweled protector. We got a pretty good hand. But also that could be playing into our opponent's plans with them having, you know, like Hecarim and... Uh, the harrowing in the top end and stuff like that. So the fact that we don't just have like a, a super aggressive, elusive hand and instead just a, a beefy ground game hand could actually be working for them. We'll just have to see. I want to hit Omen Hawks. Yeah, Omen Hawk. Omen Hawk. Double Omen Hawk. Nice. Um... Probably wouldn't play League of Legends. I'm more of like a card game kind of person, and I don't know. League of Legends has been around for so long that if I, I feel like if I just started now, I'd be, you know, I'd be so far behind the curve. I'm more of a, a card game kind of person. Guessing all the time. Um, I don't really have great options for the Jeweled Protector, to be honest. I don't have an Elusive Unit in hand, which is what we'd usually want to do, is put it on the Elusive Unit. I'm going to put it on the Omen Hawk. Just have a 1-mana 4-4 four four available. Hey, Rankler. Happy Sunday. I don't know, maybe I should just put on the other Jewel Protector and had a 7-7. Seven, seven. Oh yeah, opponent's sad. They had nothing to play with all that mana. Guessing all the time. All right, I'm going to pick up the Jewel Protector that was going to be a 4-4. Or that was going to be a 5-1. They have a Light Steel Radiant Guardian. No thank you. Bounce. Bounce that out of here. Bounce that out of here. And we're 2-0. Ranking on up. Getting closer to Master's rank. 
That's the next rank. We'll see how, how close we get to Master's rank at the end of the day. Alright, same deck we just played against. Hmm. One drop? Wow. The perfects. Maybe today's gonna be our day. Oh, yeah, maybe the playlist command doesn't work now. Hmm. Act natural. I can probably figure out how to export this playlist. Share. Come close. Copy playlist. Link. I don't fight. Let me let me know if that if that link works. I guess I can I can click on it myself and see what happens. Yeah, there we go. There's my, my Twitch stream playlist. Seven hundred and fifty nine songs. Barrier, that's not farrier. Argudo! Honor You're welcome! Thanks for the Twitch Prime resub. <laughs> Don't want any trouble. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, the mark of the aisles. Oh, we got Mark of the Isles out of there. That's good news. Eyes open. Watch your branches. Also, I should just be playing Omen Hog Zed. Now you've gone and upset it. Walk softly. Strike quickly. Remember the plan. I don't know, this, this Kinku Wayfinder is pretty difficult to pass up. Especially on your attack turn whenever you can get the, the one of these two ones stacking. They may have a vile... Oh no, Glimpse Beyond. I was thinking that maybe they had like a Vile Feast take out this thing, make a 1-1. One, one. And we do have the we just drew the deny backup, so if they use a trick. Oh, burst speed. No. Oh well, Elise is out of here. Worth it. Burst speed pretty powerful. Hmm. 
No, yeah, you're right. The more the more burst speed, yeah, I mean burst burst speed is very powerful. And if they keep on adding more burst speed, it's just going to get better. I will play my part. All right, so they're down to 2. I just didn't make my block last turn, but I mean, I guess I wouldn't have had as many flyers out. Okay. This is the life blade because it has life steal is the best card to protect her, make it give a plus three plus three. So you're playing a four mana, Bane Slayer Angel, five five life linker, with vigilance. Hmm. It's one of the best combos our deck has to present. I wish I had some way to keep them from gaining 5 life, but I don't. So we're going to be doing some chump in. You can chump here. You two can chump over there. You can block this thing. We're taking 7 going down to 5. Hmm. So open up three spots for me to play creatures, which is probably more than I need. Well, no, because I guess if I go Omen Hawk, Jewel Protector. You cannot escape. So they could have Rally, which would be pretty bad. Which is why I want to get the spider out of here, so I don't just <clears throat> sorry, so I don't just take the damage and then. Really. That's true, I could could deny the rally, that's a good good call. Alright. I think I I probably should just attack out even though I could put oh yeah, especially with that. Like, I could play the Life Blade. But I don't really see how we're losing this if we just attack out and we have Deny Backup. They would have to have a lot of removal spells. And yeah, that's pretty unlikely. And that's just for them to stay alive. That's not like for me. It's not like I would have lost even if they would have had that. Okay. Off to a good start, 3-0. Like I was saying, I just think this is the best deck right now. I really do. And so far, all three decks that we've beaten are decks that we're going to be playing later. We beat the Fearsome Rally twice and the Ezreal Elnux once. This one is the Fearsome Midrange, which I actually kind of like more than Fearsome Rally. TBH. Our hands have been really good. Been better than like this is the worst hand we've had so far. Yuck. I don't want a seven drop, one to two drop. Well, good news is we do get to bank two mana. And then we have Three spells in hand to be able to help cast those banked spells. Hmm. 
So I can't block these. I can twin disciplines and give my 1-1 one, one plus 3 plus 0 and then block. I think I do that. Wow. All right. Everyone here? Let's go. So good. Down from the trees. Well, this looks like our first loss right now. Just have one creature that can block. Okay. It's not bad. <laughs> I know, right? Come on. Eyes open. Watch your branches. So I just I'm just gonna play this and I just don't get the extra creatures. Yeah, I don't think there's tournaments yet because of how new it is. But I'm I'm sure that'll be something that there will be in the future, but there I don't they're just not there yet. We need to free up spots and deal some damage. Correct. Yeah, they they haven't set a full release date yet. Like um, right now, it's just first front ha or uh, first half of twenty twenty. Like that's the last the last they said, as far as I know. Um, which of course, first half of twenty twenty means it's like in the next three months now. So my plan is to try to stay alive through this attack and kill them in the air the next turn after playing Windfarer Hatchling. Oh, that was bad. I just kind of instinctively did that. I really should have denied because I could actually use the mana for deny there. And then just kept the kept the elixir of iron because i won't have the mana for deny next turn so i just won't be able to play deny ever again that was just kind of in instinctual i played it right away but i shouldn't have okay so we're gonna do block 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 that's still 10 block 
So now that's seven. I guess I should have switched these two. I could have kept my dual protector alive. Oh well. It's not about that. It's it's I have one shot in the air here. I guess I could have kept I could have had a four one. Oh, I, I do have four mana for deny. Never mind. Oh, because it's turn eight. I was thinking it was gonna be turn seven. Never mind. It actually it works out. Wow, look at that. Deny works, because if I just kept the plus zero, plus two, we would not have been able to uh, save that. Wow. That was... Better lucky than good. Yeah, a happy accident right there. GG. That was, that was close. That was a close one. Yeah. In instincts actually worked out. Yep. <clears throat> Alright, so we're playing against Spider Aggro. I want to keep the Elixir. Yeah, let's keep the Elixir. Send that back. I, I mean, the protectors are good. You know, it's a really good beefy blocker, and I kind of figured that we would, you know, draw stuff in the middle to curve out with. Yeah, the game is very similar to Magic. Yeah, I mean, it's it's you know another uh, card game. Um, I wrote about why I like this more than Magic about a week ago now. Um, so some differences and stuff. If if you haven't checked out like, this game, Legends of Runeterra. Certainly recommend it. It's free to play, and um, and very easy to build a collection without spending money. Unlike Arena, like where you really have to spend money. Is that worth it? I don't know. I'm just keeping a two-one alive. Like it's not like a two-one does a whole lot. So possible that was not my best of use war. of an elixir of iron and I should keep it for something more important. They cannot hide. Yeah, especially now the Wayfinder is gonna take up three spots. Yeah, I should I should have just kept the elixir of iron. Let that two one die. The only thing I can block. I'm down to five. Man, I really want to jewel protector the life blade. That that's kind of that's kind of been my plan. But
I can't do that if... I mean, I can't, because I can't really do that, because if I go dual protect to the life blade, like, they're just not going to play anything free combat. They're just going to go straight to attacks. And I'm just dead. These are dangerous, lad. So I just got to play it first. You won't get past me. It still looks like I'm probably dead. Too much fearsome and pumping. Those skitters were good. Well, we'll start with the easy blocks. And now, uh, let's see. So if I block here, I'm at eight. So go down to two, go back up to five. No, you're blocking here. I sense fear. Oh, come on. Well, I could have stayed alive if they didn't have a trick. But no, good hand. GG. Hey, Snakespur, what's up? Yeah, new house is working out great. Oh, we ranked back down. Yeah, new house is working out good. Um, having a whole bunch of fun with Legends of Runeterra. This game is so sweet. Rav, we Rav Welke, what's up? Yeah, taking a break from Magic, playing this game. I know it's you know it's a new game. It's been out for five weeks or so now, but um, I really like it more than Magic. I wrote about it about a week ago in that Google document there why I like it more than Magic. Um, I recommend trying it out. Let's get rid of expensive cards and look for cheaper cards. It's usually good at mulligan. Um, They'll never see me coming. Strategy. Down from the trees. There's nothing to fear. Please. Debating whether it's even worth playing the Blade Scout now, or just wait till my turn whenever I'll have elusive. Maybe better just to wait. Looking for this. Sam was not very good. But I did what I can. The wrong row. Hit me if you can. I mean, maybe these life blades save us. Don't have anything to pump them up, though. That card is great. So, bad news. Elise transforms. And we are in a lot of trouble.
Okay. They cannot strike what they cannot see. Ruh -ruh. So yeah, now they they know I have I have no protection available because I have no mana available, so they get to just kill both of these things. So that hurts. Come on, Wayfinder. Alright, double Omen Hawk. Gonna have some big creatures. Um... Yeah, what could you replace four runaway steamkins with? Gosh, I really need to be able to double spell. Really need to be able to double spell. Um you know, you can you can kind of replace them with other you know other two mana creatures, uh, and basically like that's, you know, it, it is a a two mana creature, so you can kind of go go that route. I fight for the fallen. All right, good hand, GG's. Seven drop I have is just felt, it's kind of feeling too expensive. Just sitting there dead, but. Really didn't have a good hand for that matchup. I mulliganed everything in my hand, right? And just got four new cards, because besides, I had like a one drop and then I didn't have like a two or a three and then I had to play like a four mana two, two. Which that's too small. Especially by that point, they flipped an Elise. Yeah, my hand was just not very good. Uh, not a fan of the art style of the game. Okay. That's something that. It, I don't know. It, for me. I guess I, I don't really put too high of value in art style, I guess. Most of the art was made by like the the same person, the six more vodka person. Anyway, um more uh I guess this is aggro ish. Uh let's see, let's definitely replace these. I guess I'll replace the protector to, uh, to try to get a lower curve. I like Shadow Assassin. Fill the hand back up and and fill the curve. Okay, that's a company. I pull the string. Just always a lease on turn two. Bleh. Hey, Krabby. That's my resting. We the Chandra Spitfire be good? Uh, it's a little... I mean, it depends on how many other threes you have. If you have a good amount of other threes, you probably don't want it. Because that, that's kind of one problem with red, is it has too many threes. Um, but if... You know, if you don't, if you can fit it in, then, then yes. Um, you, of course, want to have a whole lot of one toughness. 
or, or sorry, one power creatures. And you, if you're playing Chandra Spitfire, you want to be playing Cavalcade of Calamity. I would say probably not, to be honest. I would look more towards like, just off the top of my head, like Ember Hauler. Um, there's there could be better options. That's just you know kind of off the top of my head. My true beauty is beneath the skin. Cool, I understand, thanks for yeah, I understand. They're gonna get a bunch of spiders, huh? Yeah, I'm not I'm not too concerned with the playing competitively either, but this is it's just such a balanced game that's um that's fun to play for, for me, but I know everybody has different you know, different things they like and, and don't like and, and everything and it's tough changing games when you're so invested in one also. They cannot hide. Makes it more difficult as well. Well, if we can stop drawing expensive tricks, that would be good. You can you can do without the Castle Embrith lands. Like if you have like just a certain number of wild cards, I would use them on Steamkin before Castle Embrith. They're definitely good. And your your deck's better with them. But I think Steamkin's more important. I don't know. I have a bunch of tricks that I don't really like. For the current scenario that we're at. Thanks, Snakes Bear. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, you can't get like the massive board like you can in magic with this with, with the uh, with the creature cap that's definitely something you kind of have to play around and you know you have to uh, plan for whenever whenever you're playing stuff you only need four more cards what cards do you need if you need like there's the seven dr the seven mana Um, if you still need the, the seven mana um, card, I think you can replace that with other stuff. You know, other, other things in your collection. It's an epic. There, that's that's the word I was thinking. That I was trying to think of epic. But yeah, this Windfarer Hatchling. Wow. Huh. Didn't really see that coming. So many little spiderlings. There we go. That's a good draw. Extra hands never hurt. Got what I came for.
They were like these spiderlings. So yeah, this hatchling has just cost so much mana. Spider all Nux. Good replacement for one of the seven man cards is Wild Fury. Okay. Which card? Which card's Wild Fury? So I'm still learning some of the card names, especially the more expensive cards. Okay, Wild Fury is the plus eight, plus four attack. Okay, yeah, because that is a Frel Yord card, so. Yeah, I could go with that. Uh, yeah. Torbrand's important, yeah. Um. Probably a around Steamkin level. It's probably more important than Castle Embrith. I'm not sure about more important than Steamkin or not. Close, like around there. They're they're kind of similar. I kept this, instead of just playing the Twin Disciplines, I want to keep it in case they had a trick. I wanted to be able to respond, even though, you know, I could have used it to get rid of this. But we also may need this to do the plus three to have lethal in the air. Darn. Atrocity. Three spider losses in a row. Elise is just getting us. This one was a little different, you know, spider deck with the ruination, but still at least just flip in and Ooh. All right, Karma Lux control. Not a lease. Oh, it's got Battle Fury, not Wild Fury. Okay. Yeah, that sounds that sounds more familiar. Yeah, Battle Fury. Okay. Hey, we drew our champion. How about that? It's going to... Oh, they're not playing Mystic... Yeah, they're not Mystic Shotting. Yeah. No, Zed Zed's just going to be good. All right, back to us curving out. Last three games of us losing to Elise, we didn't have 
you know, one, two, three with creatures either. Time for a leap of faith. Especially with that 3B and Z. Um, I don't, I'm not sure exactly which deck has the best win rate against elusives. My prediction would be... Give that barrier, kill this. Alright, well... My, my prediction would be the Ezreal Elnux. Because the Elnux deck has a lot of removal. And everything, but I'm not sure. Because the elusive deck can get some really big creatures... Maybe it's not that. I, I'm, not, I'm not sure. Sweep them away. I think having access to... Ugh, I'm just going to try to trade. All that sneaky. Every, every time this thing strikes at all, they draw a card. I just kind of have to get rid of it. can't just let them keep hitting me. Eyes open. Watch your branches. Um, I think Purify is a good card to have access to against this elusive deck because of the the ways it can pump creatures. Silent as death. These next two creatures that we draw are going to be really big. We're going to have two really big creatures. They're going to get plus three, plus three from the Omen Hawks. <laughs> yeah, we haven't had the most luck today. That's all right. We did to start with, whenever we were going, you know, when we won our first four. A gift from the river folk. Waters are still. Extra hands never hurt. Got what I came for. Well, Twin Disciplines wasn't a creature, so now the next two creatures should have plus four, plus four. And because of that, who does not know the name Laurent? There we go. Let's say because of that, I didn't want to play a Blade Scout. That's a good one to have plus four, plus four. So we're going to attack with the dark beckon. Remember the flash. I have been Boo. Stop having the barriers. You cannot escape. It's too late for you. My wisdom. Shadow. Barriers are cheats. I 
First block with Omen Hawk just to get get a creature out of here. These are dangerous lands. <laughs> yep, plays yep, playing elusives and saying barriers are cheap. <laughs> hey Kendis. Happy Sunday. Hmm. Not looking good. My wisdom is now my About to lose four in a row. Looks like it. Yep. Peace begins within. Where there is life. There Why is this thing in? Oh, this thing because they're in light and they get plus four plus four. Dang. Yeah, we're gonna lose four in a row. Yeah, I mean, we're dead. Like, these 1-1s one -ones aren't any good. Started off so good. We were 4-0. Now we're back to 4-4. Four and four. <laughs> At least it's with an E. But yeah, no, we're playing. We're yeah, that's kind of like our theme of our day today, playing the, the uh, playing the tier one decks. Rank up Sunday. Even though <clears throat> hasn't been helping us. Last four games. Alright, Omen Hawk. Turn one. Conspirator, pick it up. That is. Stay safe. That's everything that we want. Omen Hawk turn one. Pick it back up. Play play more Omen Hawks. Last game we had one drop, two drop. For the you know like we we lost the other three we didn't have one drop two drop last time we did and so I was excited about it but our one drop was not Omen Hawk and pick it back up we'll see if that makes a difference but we also had Zed on turn three that we were attacking with They're just passing. They just assume I'm gonna be playing that, and now they're gonna play something. Yep. Hang on, Fuzzball. Hey.
So I think I'm just going to go straight to combat and not play the 2-2. Two -two. <laughs> or we could get a 5-4. No, I guess I'm going to just play the TT first. Pump this thing up. Because, like, whatever spell... It's not like they're going to play, like, an elusive blocker unless they're going to play... Um, Shadow Assassin. But, yeah. So, yeah, they're going to have Grasp of the Undying. That's not... Out of the realm of possibilities at all. But they would have they would have been able to play that either way. That would make sense. So I'm going to go Jewel Protector, give this Conspirator another plus three, plus three. And then I can have Conspirator pick up the Jewel Protector again. Hmm. But now, now I have to go straight to attacks. I can't play something else pre-combat now because now that they have nine mana total, they can have ruination. And so I can't really let them just play ruination. Just passing. No ruination. So we're gonna have Jewel Protector give the Blade Scout plus three. So that the Blade Scout is a lethal attacker and the Conspirator is a lethal attacker. And they're just passing again. With crying emoji. So the reason why that harrowing popped up is because they have 10 cards in hand. They can't have any more than 10. Deal 1 to all units, heal 3. Deal 1 to all units, heal 3. So they're going to go to 12... So I'm not I'm trying not to overcommit too much to the battlefield because of ruination. We haven't really seemed like we needed to so far. Okay. So I got eight mana to play stuff.
here's with me. They picked the wrong All right, got my two lethal attackers. And got an almost lethal attacker. I can go straight to combat. I haven't I haven't done too much traveling overseas. I've been to as far as just out of the country, I've been to Mexico and Canada. But that's not really overseas. Uh, I have been to Australia. I went whenever I was like 16. Yeah, when I was 16, I did go to Australia. I've never been to Europe, though. You know, Europe, Africa, Asia, I've never been to any of those continents. Yeah, this is a Zed deck. Yep. All right. Back on the winning side. Yep. Kinku Wayfinder and Kinku Life Blade. Both Kinkus and Zed. Yep. Probably a little, a little more than that, King J Rod. I'm a big believer in this Legends of Runeterra game that has been out in open beta for about five weeks now. It's incredibly balanced, fair, fun to play. Um, you know, <clears throat> you can build a collection without spending money. Also, it's it's just awesome. Cause like we you share turns, so like they play a creature, we we play a creature. They pick the wrong row. Makes it very balanced. Everything's in place. All right, they'll attack. We'll block. Everything has haste. All right, turn two. So looks like an aggressive spider deck. Where they'll always have Elise on turn two. I did, I did, uh, put in money for Legends of Runeterra because, basically, be, because of I made like, um, yeah. So I, I did buy some coins for Legends of Runeterra, but basically because of my job and you know trying to build lots of different decks and everything very quickly. If it wasn't for that, I probably wouldn't have spent money for Legends of Runeterra. I would have been, uh, um, would have been just building the collection probably without spending money. Without a sound. But no, I put in some coins to buy wild cards to get uh, more stuff. To have more decks. Yes. Mark of the Isles would be a bummer. Yeah. There's so many good rewards and ways to collect cards in this game, absolutely. Only the worthy survive. I have many things. Zed flipping. So I want to save the life blade till after the protector. So we're going to be playing this blade scout and then I'll have three mana for twin disciples. Yeah, exactly. Yep, there's yeah, there's only the one set right now. Reporting in. So yeah, you get to start start building the collection where there's just the one set and you know kind of go from there and it's you're right is this is the best time to get it all right they got the skitter but i like where we're at i think we're in a good spot look 
looking for this. Think. Punish with green. We're taking nine damage. It is. I'll just block here, so we're taking seven, because you know, like blood for you know, they got like blood for bones. Could be a problem. No, I don't. I don't lob our crew. No, I. I used to work for them a couple of years ago, but. I don't anymore. Alright, life blade time. A dangerous land. Build our own Bane Slayer Angel. Uh oh. I'll handle this myself. What a rare treat! The hand of Noctis! Rut row. Yeah, it's free to play. Yep, this game's free to play. Uh, you know, just just Google search, you know, Legends of Runeterra, download. I'm sure it's like the first thing. Carve a path. It's free to play. They have a lot of, you know, they have a good tutorial, but then a ton of uh, reward tracks. You get to choose, you know, like which region you get you get your rewards cards from. Another one of those. What a rare treat! The hand of Noctis! <laughs> no! Oh, this looked so good a little bit ago whenever we played Bane Slayer Angel, but not anymore. Okay. Oh, no, I'm one short. Oh, well, I still think I play this first. All right, one short from playing the life blade also. I salute you. That was a good draw. Come on, play something. Let me play this life blade. Okay, well. That's seven trample damage this right now. I'm going down to two. The best blocks I can make, though. And two's not zero. Eyes open. Watch your branches. <laughs> I only have one, one more one drop left. What they cannot see. I like I like the steady income resource compared to magic. Yeah, I like that. I like how there's just not the games, because um, you know with magic there's just so many games that um, are just basically all the games are determined by by mana and um, you know do you you know do you actually hit your land drops or. Um, uh, you know, do you have to like mulligan a bunch because you don't have any lands? Do you, uh, do you get stuck on two lands? You know, keep like a two lander and you don't draw any lands, and so then you lose. Do you, you know, draw four or five, six lands in a row in, in the mid game, and so you, you just lose because the other person just has more more cards? Or, um, 
or also the other way, the other, uh, similarly, Similarly to that, um, you know, are you playing against, you know, like ramp decks that can just have a ton more mana than you, and so you don't have, so, you know, you don't have the ability to keep up because they just play, you know, like Risen Reefs that just get a whole bunch of mana, and then, and there's, you know, and the Cavaliers and just have all this mana and you don't, and you're just like, well, I'm trying to play, like, my 4-drop and my 5-drop to keep up, but they have 10 land, ten mana already because they played a Nyssa. You know, you don't have to worry about that. Like, that's not, that's not enjoyable. <clears throat> that's one thing that I really don't like is whenever my opponent just has, you know, like, they have 12 mana and I have 4, and it's like, that's... It's just not fair. Uh, but anyway, enough about that. Um, and so, yeah, like, there are... And I, like, with this game, it's not just, like, you have one mana, then two mana, then three mana. Like, that, that spell mana thing is a really cool aspect of the game. Like, so if you're not playing something on turn one or turn two, you're also not just automatically super behind because then you can have, you know, like, access to six mana on turn three and catch back up. So like that banking the spell mana is a really cool aspect of the mana system here. Um, anyway, so yeah, there's Kinku Elusives. Uh, definitely a, run, a, a streaky deck for us for just this run. You know, like we started off with the four wins in a row and everything was looking good. And then we lost four in a row. Uh, lost three times to different spider decks with Elise. You know, they always had like turn two Elise and just out aggroed us. Um and so you know lost those and then but then picked it back up and got the other two wins seemed like we need like another two drop like we didn't like the games that we were losing we didn't usually have like duo or conspirator on two or like one or two you know like that kind of stuff um will of ionia looked kind of slow same with wind fair hatchling like those two cards kind of felt kind of slow uh, for like the games that we were losing. Um, but overall, uh, still of course a very good deck. Deck that I feel like is, is maybe the best in the format. Um, but we got other really good ones too that we're going to be playing up next for today. Alright, so that's it here for Kinku Elusives. So those of y'all watching on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And uh, leave those comments. You know, Let me know what you're playing over in Legends of Runeterra, how you like the game, all that kind of stuff. But thank you so much for watching some Kinko Elusives, and I'll see you for the next video.